Okay, everybody, today we are going to learn how to input our images and answer questions to submit our projects for art class. We're going to be doing this during our art time, so it's not extra homework afterwards. That way, we'll give everyone an equal chance to get their project done. If for some reason you missed this during class, this recording is done um, and you're accessing it through Google Classroom, so follow along and the link to the slide deck will be posted in um, the directions in the Google Classroom. All right, so what's gonna happen is while we're posting the lesson, we're gonna go over the things that you need for your project, and then I will be posting um, a chat in the link. So your job when I say that I'm posting the link will be to check on the chat bubble. I'll post a link and that will come up in your stream. You will then click on that link and that will open up a new tab on your computer. At the top you'll notice it will say fifth grading gallery global shoes. And once inside you have editing abilities and you will scroll down through the gallery to look for your name. Everything is alphabetical, so if you know your last name starts with a letter at the end of the alphabet, you'll have to scroll down pretty far. If not, if you can't find it for some reason, for some reason I forgot you, or just um, click back over into the BBC room, raise your hand, and then unmute yourself, and I can help you problem solve through it. So you'll be toggling between the BBC, which has the purple square, and then our fifth grade gallery link. So once you find your name, I found mine, it's Miss Hill, you have a couple things to do. The first thing, if you don't want the color red behind your name, you can click on that square and you would go up to the area where the bar looks red with the paint can spilling. You would click on that and you could pick a color, a different color if you want behind it. Just make sure it's a color that I can still really see your name. Okay, the next thing would be to insert your artwork image and you'll notice there's a big square there for that. So what you're going to do is you are going to come up to the top here where it says insert. Anytime you wanna put something in the slide, we'll go to the insert tab. You'll click on insert and you're gonna scroll down the very first one that says image. And you'll notice you have some choices. You come over here and you're gonna come all the way down to the last one, which is click on camera. It is going to ask you I've already done mine, so it's going to ask you if you have um, permission to use the camera, and if it asks you that, you can just click yes. All right, so your job, and this is the tricky part, is to be able to hold up your artwork so it can be seen on the screen. So the natural thing is to hold it kind of down like this, and you get your screen on there that can really help you. So you're going to kind of look on the side to see if it's in the right space. You want to get it as close as possible especially if it's done in pencil so I can really see it. And then what you're gonna do is hold it in place with one hand and then use your free hand to come down. I like to get everything in position. I'm already tilting. And again, this is new, so it's gonna take us some time. You're gonna click on the camera button. And that's going to take a picture, okay? Once, if you like that, if you don't like it you would hit cancel and then do it again if you do like it you get a little screen up here showing you what it looks like so if you like it you're going to hit insert so you'll notice that the picture is not as big as the screen and there are blue squares all around the edges so what you can do is take your cursor and put it over one of the dots to get the two little arrows you're going to hold the mouse button down and drag it to meet the shape of the square that I provided. And you'll do that in all points so that it fits the shape. Okay, the proportion should be pretty good. All right, so your picture is in. That's the main part. All right, now that your picture is in, we need to answer the questions that are in the text box. And the four questions are right here. 